In this video, we will show you how to send and receive Cardano with Trezor Suite, and how to use the staking feature. Cardano is only supported on the Trezor Model T. To receive, make sure you have Cardano enabled as one of the coins in the settings. Then navigate to the account section, click receive, and show full address. Confirm that the address is correct on your device and use it as the destination address. After a successful transaction, you will see Cardano in your account. To send, click the send button, fill out the destination address and the amount, and click review and send. Again, confirm on your device. Staking is the process used for validating transactions on blockchains that use the proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, with Cardano being one of the best-known examples. Unlike Bitcoin and other proof-of-work-based cryptocurrencies, Cardano users participate in network governance by delegating their funds. Users can either run their own stake pool and participate directly, or delegate their ADA to an existing staking pool. By staking ADA, you can earn rewards as a form of passive income for any Cardano transactions your pool validated during one epoch which is a 5-day cycle. To start staking, you first need some Cardano balance on your address. If your balance is zero, or staking is not active yet, you will see this message in Suite. Once you have Cardano that you would like to stake, click on Staking and then click the Delegate button. Using your device, follow the on-screen instructions to confirm the registration of your stake key. Review the details of the proposed delegation and use your device to approve the transaction. You must pay a deposit of 2 ADA to register your delegation, and then a small network fee to broadcast the transaction to the network and have it included in a block. You will see the history of delegation in your transaction history too. Now, you will earn rewards that will be automatically reflected in your balance. You can unstake your Cardano at any time by clicking the withdraw button and sending your full balance to a different address. In case you are already staking your Cardano on a different pool, you will see the Redelegate button. This way you can redelegate your funds to the Trezor pool. You can only delegate the full balance of your address to one pool at a time. At this moment, in Trezor Suite, it is only possible to stake using a predefined Trezor pool. If you would like to delegate to a different pool than the Trezors, you can use third-party wallet paired with Trezor such as Adelite or Daedalus. Your funds will be automatically restaked to the same pool at the end of each epoch. If you wish to delegate a portion of your balance, you must send it to a different address. You can either create a new Cardano account via My Accounts or use a wallet associated with a different passphrase or recovery seed. You will receive rewards in 5-day epochs, the first reward will take around 20 days to show. You can send your funds elsewhere at any time, by doing this, your staking will be recalculated to reflect your new balance. Hopefully, this video helped you to understand how to use and stake Cardano with Trezor Model T. Thanks for watching.